coffee with coastal cheryl this one is going to be awesome because this is my very favorite home decor items actually i'm going to end up doing two of them let me get my coffee out of the way before i spill it um i'm going to be doing two of these so be sure i will link the other one at the bottom so make sure you catch the other one these are all from amazon and these are my favorite home decor items they're the ones that you guys are always asking me on instagram and youtube is i need a link for that i need a link for that especially on instagram i show a photo and it's just constantly do you have a link for do you have a link for and here it all is it's all going to be linked and i would give all of these seriously five plus stars and i love them all again number two <laughs> will be coming very very soon and I'll put a link at the bottom let's get rolling all right first of all uh, there's a few of the items I don't have in my kitchen like my egg chair uh, go ahead and pull the outdoor photo of the egg chair I love 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 this egg chair <coughs> sorry um, it's just so pretty I've seen egg chairs before and every time I sit in them they're so uncomfortable and I just don't like them well I saw this one it was on Amazon and it was on sale and I thought, oh, it's, it looks so good. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't like it, I'll return it, right? So I actually bought one, I put it together, I sat in it and I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's so comfortable, not like any egg chair I've ever sat in. Um, it comes, the, the cushions I bought in white, but it also comes, I think, in a dark blue and black. My uh, youngest daughter has the black and it's really pretty in black also. But I liked it so much. I bought another one and put them in the corner out there by the pool because I just love them. So then I'd be sitting in the house and I'd be looking out there thinking, you know, I'd like to have one of those in the house. So I did. I brought one in the house. Can you go ahead and pull that up? Because honestly, they're that comfortable. Look at that. I put that in. I started out, I thought, I'm going to put it in the corner in my bedroom and I'm going to have my own little oasis in there. So I, I pull it, I'm pulling it through the house and I can't get it to fit through the bedroom door. So if you guys are going to put this in a bedroom or somewhere in your house, put it together in that room. <laughs> I couldn't get it through the door and I didn't want to take it back apart. So I just pushed it back out to the living room, put it in the corner and there it is. But the best egg chair ever, 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 period. I love them. <laughs> oh, it, by the way, it is an outdoor egg chair, but I've got mine indoor. All right, speaking of another one that is uh, indoor or outdoor, can you pull up the rug, honey? Um, that is right, uh, you know, the egg chairs to be over in that corner. <laughs> but this is outside uh, by our pool. It is a covered lanai. Um, and I wanted, we had a rug down there. We started out with like a turquoise and blue one, which was really pretty, but I got tired of it. Then I had kind of a brown one and it just seemed so dark, especially being that that's covered. And I wanted a lighter rug and I've seen these uh, my Texas it's my Texas house you've probably seen these all over and I'm like oh but outdoors that's crazy and I do have one in my dining room which I thought was crazy too but I love it it, it looks great there and they just don't show much dirt I don't know why they're made of like polypropylene and I guess that's why but anyway so I thought I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna put one out here on the lanai and that's what it looked like like after a year you guys and this is the only way we have of going out our back door we every time we go to the pool every time we walk out the back door to go to the backyard we walk through there it just stays looking good well recently i noticed there was two little spots on it from i don't know what and uh i had seen on instagram that somebody was literally just you know washing theirs with the hose because they tell you that's what you do because it's an indoor outdoor rug like if you've got it inside, take it out, put it on your driveway and rinse it with a hose and the dirt just flies out. Well, we had a power washer and we did that. And, and you guys, it is, it's kind of awesome. I mean, just, they just chase the dirt off. I mean, it just slides off. So, and mine wasn't that dirty. And then it came out so white. Hubby, he's over there, he's my tech guy. Um, he's the one pulling up all this stuff. He even said, wow, that, that really worked well, didn't it? That really turned out nicely. And, you know, he doesn't notice anything like that. <laughs> so for him to notice the rug, that's saying a lot, but I love that rug right there. And that's, uh, the link will be to that exact, that's the exact one I bought. All right, next, um, if you're looking for a ficus tree, 
I love this one. I love it so much, I have two of them. I have one in the house, and then I actually have one in a corner of our lanai, and I've got uh, lights wrapped around it that comes on at night. Uh, but this is such a nice little tree. It starts, if you click on the link, you'll see there's several different sizes, like three foot to eight foot. I have the six foot and I have the seven foot. Now what I love about these, well, it's pretty, but let me show you the branches. This is dangerous. This is why I moved my coffee. All right, here we go. These branches are like real wood branches. I mean, look at that. Can you see that? It's real wood. I love how they look kind of tangled and gnarled. And it's just so pretty. Again, I have two. Actually, I bought three of these. I forgot. I The first one I bought, I bought, I pulled it out of the package, and it was going like this. It was leaning. I'm like, what? I mean, it was literally leaning. So I returned it immediately, and they sent me another one. Uh, so, you know, no cost to me. So I really love these. I love it so much, I bought another one. Again, they come from three all the way to eight foot. I've got the six and the seven is what I think I have. But I love these. Um, can you pull up the photo? This is um, this one right here. That's just right where it was. I just grabbed it. Now, can you see that little waste basket right there? That's actually a waste basket, not a planter. Right here. I love this for these plants because these plants, any plant you get, it comes like in a little ugly pot, you know, a little ugly black pot. Well, this was literally the waste basket that we have in our master bath. And uh, one day I thought, I wonder what that would look like on the plant. So I literally just dropped my plant down and it was like, oh my gosh, I love it. So uh, now I, I think I have six of these now. Um, every time I buy a larger plant, I just drop it in here. Now here's a tip, if you want, let's say I wanted that to be a little taller, what you can do is you can add about that much rock in the bottom of your waste basket and then put the tree in and then fill it full of rock so it will stay straight. And then you, you get um, extra height and then if you've got it outdoors, uh, then, you know, and again, I would only put them, you know, in a covered like a porch or a lanai that's covered because I think they would fade from the sun. But if it gets windy, this isn't going to blow over because it's full of rocks. So that's just a great tip. But these are great. They're affordable. And it's just a great solution to get rid of that ugly pot. Now, if you want to get fancy, you could even, you could, I don't know how fancy this is. But <laughs> it, it's a cheat on fancy. Put, put your tree in, right? Fill it full of like wadded up newspapers. And then you could put some like pretty moss on the top. You know how they've got like the kind of gray moss or the green moss? You could do that. That would be pretty too. So, uh, you know, just kind of a way to kind of cheat and make it look cute. But look how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look cute together? I love that combination. All right. Thank you, honey. All right. Next, um, can you pull up the, the uh, guest bedroom with the wall art? This is one I get asked about all the time. And I will tell you immediately, this is not a great photo. <laughs> the, it just, it was bad lighting that day. The light was streaming through, but I wanted to get a picture of the wall art and I should take another one. But, um, so it's a little too much light on that. But that wall art, I love it. It is three pieces and I get asked about it so often. The thing about beach art, coastal art, very often the ocean is like really dark blues. So there's lots of dark blues in it, which is beautiful, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted like a neutral beach decor. So I looked and looked and looked and finally did find this one on Amazon, as is everything here, you guys. This is all from Amazon. And I have done my work to find some fabulous finds, by the way. Um, what I love about this is just kind of, it's a faded blue. It's so, it's actually prettier. I should have just took it off the wall and, and showed it to you. It's actually prettier um, than it, it looks there because that weird lighting. Click on the link, click on the link and the way it's depicted in the photo, that's exactly what it looks like. Those are the colors. So it's just, it's a soft blue, but it's just great because I, I wanted this to be a restful room. And for me, that's perfect. So if you're looking for, you know, beach art, but you want it to be, more neutral without the vivid blues. This is really a great, great choice. I love it. All right, next, I have got, um, actually I've got three vases. They're all from the same company. I'm going to show you them separately. This is the smallest. 
right here. And I will put in the description, I will put the sizes so you will know, because this is gonna be the smaller one and then the other two are bigger, but they're about the same size. But I love this combination. Isn't this pretty? Let me show you the eucalyptus first. You get this whole bunch of eucalyptus. It's got like wood stems. It looks like wood, it's not really. And then I really love these leaves because they have got like a veining in them. And then if you look, see some of them are a paler green. That is because like on the back side, it's a lighter color like a leaf would be. So it just really makes a nice presentation. And then all you do is just drop them down into, you know, something kind of a significantly sized because they're so big. But I love that combination. Can you pull up the eucalyptus honey? This is just about always on my uh, dining room table, right there. Uh, if I remember, I'll link the dining room table too. Uh, but I love that. I just you know pop these in there, put it in the center, and I'm done. And every time I walk in the house, I you know look over that, and it just makes me happy. I just think it's so pretty. It's one of my favorite base flower combinations, and I definitely the easiest. So I love this again, the eucalyptus. And then these, all three of the vases I'll be showing you are from Deco 79. That's the name of the company. But let me show you again. This is the smaller one. And then let me see. I think I do have the, uh, the next one I have pulled up is going to be, hang on. <laughs> all right. Let me get this one out of the way because this is heavy. All right. This one, it looks exactly like the smaller one. But I've got it full of full of like pebbles, but um, it's exactly the same. Like, let me show you real quick the smaller one up close. See the texture on that? Isn't that pretty? Don't you love the color? And this one is exactly the same. Just and here's the size difference. Um, when I I kept seeing this one, I bought this one first, and I kept seeing this one. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then I thought, well, gosh, I'd love to have you know something for like uh, stems. I wanted long stems, which I'll be showing you. And I thought that would be, you have to have something kind of big, you know, to put them on the floor or in the middle of a counter. It has to be, you know, large to make it work. So I ordered this and I love it. Now I have got little um, like kind of translucent glass pebbles in this one. You don't have to do that, but I will show you the link for those two. And I'll tell you why I did that. Um, when I put this one on the counter, uh, well, can you pull up the, um, the stems, honey? I, see, you can see the, see the pebbles in there. I wanted the um, stems to be very specific, the way, because it was in the middle of my counter. Uh, so what I did, and here's the stems. You guys, these are the best. The best faux stems. I've ordered several. They come two to an order. So this is what you're going to get, which is, you know, nice and big. And they're quite long, which is what I, I love because I had imagined these. I wanted to kind of put them at an angle. And then I knew if I put the pebbles on the bottom, then it's going to hold them exactly where I put them, right? Now, you don't have to do that. I will show you in another vase how it would look if you just dropped them in. So that's what I did there, and I had two orders in that photo, there, so there's, there's four all together. So again, I have four, and I wanted them spread out, and so I did use the pebbles so they would stick right in there. All right, now let me show you. Again, this is the big one that looks just like the little one. It, they're twins. And again, I will link those two. They come like in a five-pound bag. And when it came, I thought, this isn't five pounds. I weighed it, it is five pounds. <laughs> I thought, I got ripped off. <laughs> All right, now, this is a different one. All right, obviously, same company, same size as the great big one I just showed you. Go ahead and just drop that, honey. Now, if you wanna go ahead and just put in, well, I'm gonna show you two. You could just do two. You know, you can just do two, just like that. I mean, that looks fine. I like four better because I like them going in all four directions. But, you know, I'm weird like that. But see, and again, you don't need the pebbles to do that. You could easily 
Just do that. That's it. But then, as I often do, <laughs> I thought, what would six look like? So I threw in two more. So again, in that picture, it was only four, and four is fine, but I went ahead and did six just to see what it looks like. But just the best stems I found. I've ordered several different ones, and I don't like them. They come, I don't like the way they look. They look really fake, or they're just not pretty. And these, they look fairly realistic, and I love them. They're just really pretty. The, I mean, it looks like this is real wood, just a great combination. Again, this is the uh, other larger vase. And here is the difference with this one, is it has words on it. And I'll make notation of that. Look, see, it says Cabernet on it. And I, I'll put that like in parentheses. parentheses. <laughs> And I was an English major. <laughs> All right, look at that. But isn't this cute? I, I, I like that. And I thought that is just so pretty. I've got to get that to share. So really a nice one. Uh, just depends on the style you like. It's the same size as the other big one, but it just, it's the back is clear and then it's got the words on the front. So really, really pretty. All right, I love those. Those are such great finds. All right, next, this one's really a great find, and it's it's more affordable. <laughs> this cute little flower, or cute little flower. You know why I'm calling it a flower? It's because my favorite flowers <clears throat> are daylilies. This reminds me of a daylily. If, if you guys, I grew up in the Midwest, um, so you, if you know what a daylily looks like, doesn't this look like the daylily? And then eventually, you'll get like a, a scape, it's called a, a stalk, it, it's going to come out of here, it's green, and then the flowers will grow on there. But this is what they look like at first, and I realize that's why I love this so much. They're my favorite flowers, but look at this cute little plant. <clears throat> and the little uh, pot is just, it's just like a mat. I would say very, very pale gray, um, and it also comes in a metal stand. So click on the link if you want. It's like a little black metal stand. It's like three... Um, spokes and then it stands just a little bit like that. I rarely use it because I just like it like this. Uh, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> I should have got it to show it to you, but uh, I love this. Isn't this pretty? I mean, just a great little print plant and a great, great price. Very affordable. All right, next. All right, the next one is a bit of a splurge. The other one was quite affordable. This one, she's a little pricier, but she's an orchid. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous plant. This is from Nearly Natural. They have got the best plants, by the way. Look, you guys, if you're ever looking for like a faux tree or faux plant, I mean, type what, whatever it is, like type in, like go to Amazon, type in Nearly Natural Orchid or, you know, ficus tree or whatever it is, because they have got great plants. All right, look. How gorgeous is this? This is a triple orchid. It comes in this glass pot and it's got moss in it. And this is so realistic. I mean, real orchids are quite expensive. And this one is a little on the expensive side, but again, it would be a fabulous gift. Mother's Day is coming up. Uh, this would be a fabulous Mother's Day, um, unless you're watching this in December. And this would be a fabulous, <laughs> Christmas present. <laughs> but isn't this pretty? I love it. It's definitely my favorite orchid by far, and it's so realistic looking. Um, I was buying orchids at, at a local market, and they look exactly like this, and they were so expensive. That's why eventually I went, I've got to find a fake one. So that's what I bought this one, and I haven't bought any of the real ones since. But I love, love, love this one. A great, great find. All right. Whoops. All right, next, look at this. Um, oh, you guys, if you follow me, you already know that I'm obsessed with tulips. Well, I'm really not. This is the funny thing. I don't know if I've ever even planted tulips before, but this is, well, this is more accurate. I'm obsessed with these tulips. Look at these. I've got these. Well, I've got them in pink and yellow and purple and white. White is my the first ones I bought. I mean, I love these. They are the best faux flowers. 
especially for the money, on Amazon. Let me just pull some of these out here. Like this is what, and they have different size orders, uh, but this is what one order looks like. This might be 20 or 28, I can't remember. But okay, look. Now if you look closely, can you see that? You can actually see the veining in the flower. And they're all like that. I mean, they're just so realistic looking. You would swear that these were real tulips. I love them so much. I bought the white ones and then I bought another order of the white ones and I bought the pink, the purple and the yellow, but they're just, look at that. I mean, there we go. They're just gorgeous. I mean, the, the colors are beautiful and they're really quite realistic. I'll show you the yellow ones next. I'm actually going to show you them to you in a vase, but I love these. If I had to say, the whites are probably my favorite. They go with everything. They're just classic. And I had the white one probably for a year before it was like, okay, I think it was the pinks. I have to get the pinks. I, and then, because they're such a pretty color of pink. But, oh, so, so pretty. All right, now uh, here's the yellow ones. And I want to show you, actually, this is, you can go ahead and drop it, honey. Uh, actually, can you go ahead and you can see this. Same, the, the tulips, the vase, the tray, there we go. Now this is the exact same one I've got right here, but I've got the yellow flowers in it. And you can see, again, the, I love the way the, the um, white flowers look. Now what I love about this particular vase that I've used with them, and this is, works really well for flowers that you want to splay out. So pay attention to that. If you um, want your flowers to be like more upright, let me just pull these in half, let me show you. Like if you want them to be more upright, then you kind of want a skinny necked vase. But these, this is like one order because I have two of these. Again, you drop them down, look at that. I love that, I love that. Can you see, because this is such a wide mouth vase, it just lets them kind of splay out and it just looks like you just went out in the yard, you picked them up, you grab grandma's vase underneath the sink and there you go. <laughs> to me, this is just perfection. And again, if you want, you know, put two orders in there and then that does give you a different look. Then it's like the white one, you know, it's just a lot fuller, but so, so pretty. Now let me show you grandma's vase. <laughs> this is actually from Sullivan's. That is the name of the company. It's one of the first um, vases for, yeah, because I, th I think if I remember right, because I, I'm telling you for years and years, I've hated fake flowers. I mean, cause they used to be ugly. I mean, let's get real. You didn't want them in your house. And um, I got these tulips and then I bought this vase not too long after, cause I knew I wanted something that they could just kind of, you know, splay out of. All right, cause I love that just kind of graceful arch. All right, look at this. This is so heavy. <laughs> See, it's slightly distressed. It looks like it's, you know, been around for a little while. It, I mean, it's ceramic, it is heavy. And then again, I love it in this tray. This tray, I will again, I will link the tray. I'll actually, it comes in white and brown. I Just to make it easy, I will link both of them. But they look the same in that they're beaded. See how they're beaded? Now, they're both whitewashed, but the brown one is more whitewashed. This looks kind of a paler brown, and the white one is a brighter, but you know, still slightly whitewashed, distressed, but really, really pretty. I'll link both of them. Um, these are from Creative Co-op, so I'll say these are the Creative Co-op beaded tray. But I love this combination. The Sullivan's vase, and you know, let's throw the pink ones in, just for fun. I love the purple ones too. I mean, whoops, we got a white one in. And again, you don't have to do anything with it. It just looks fabulous. It looks even more fabulous if you put two in. <laughs> but see, I like it like that. It's just something graceful about that and pretty and simple. I mean, it just, when it comes to home decor, I mean, you guys, it doesn't get much simpler than that. And you're really going to love those. Thank you, honey. All right, next. I love this little picture and it's so opposite of that one. Oh, let me get these out of the way. All right, now look at this picture. This picture is totally different than the other one. This one is like a brighter white. It has, I mean, just look at the elegance of it. I mean, it, it looks kind of romantic to me. 
I mean, if you were going to have tea, you know, you had this little picture on there with flowers. I mean, I just think it's so, so pretty. Let me get it close. There you go. You can see the texture in it. I mean, isn't that pretty? It's just such a pretty little vase. I love this. Um, and then I like to combine it with these daisies. These actually have a rubber band on them. So it shows you how much time I've spent organizing these. So again, drop them in. The reason I have a rubber band run is because I actually have two orders of these. So whenever I show them to you, I wanna make sure I don't make a mistake and show you both of them at once. Although I can do that, Let, let's do that. There you go. Then, I mean, that's, that's really pretty too, but you don't need both of them. Just one is fine. But again, just drop them in. I mean, you know, you don't have a rubber band around your <laughs> But isn't that cute? There's just something so feminine and delicate about this combination. Again, these come 12 pieces, and this is what an order looks like, just one of these. So I, I have two, and I just, you know, because I kind of like to overdo it. But you don't need two. One looks fabulous in it. It just two looks just slightly more fabulous. <laughs> All right, next. My husband, he's like, you know, you always got to go overboard. <laughs> and, you know, it's all or nothing with me, baby. That's what I tell him. I do that. Like when I cook, I always cook too much. But then we have leftovers the next day. So there's a method to my madness. All right, you guys, look at this. Let me try to get it to where you can actually see. Here, let me, let me get up close. The problem, there we go, there we go. That's an accurate depiction of the color. Um, I have got like four lights on me, right? And so anything that's white kind of gets faded out if I don't, uh, I'm not careful of how I hold it. But that's exactly a great depiction of the color. It's wood. It also comes actually in other colors. I love this wood. Quite a few other colors, but this is just wood. And see these gears in here? You can see. See, you can see them move. I love that. I mean, isn't this a gorgeous, gorgeous clock? I absolutely love it. Um, I have a sign over it, which I'm going to show you next. Honey, can you just pull that up? Pull up the clock. I mean, I literally just took this off the wall. That's how I have it displayed. I've got the clock and then I've got this sign over it, which I'm going to show you next. Again, this comes in a variety of colors. And then the clock, the sign, actually comes in five different colors. Look, I mean, it's just, it's a big sign. It is a nice big wood sign. This is my favorite Christmas movie. Um, I particularly love having it over a clock because I like to look to see what time it is and then, you know, just kind of remind myself all day long. It's a wonderful life because it is a wonderful life. I know, you know, you can be going through a tough time and sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but in the end, it is a wonderful life. But isn't this great? I love this sign, again, available in five different colors. All right. Again, you guys, these are all like home decor favorites. All of these are from Amazon. I couldn't, I mean, I have so many. I'm going to do another one. And I will link it below at the bottom. I'll probably just call it more home decor favorites. I may have to do a third though, because I literally, I mean, I, I've got some great finds. All right, thanks honey. Like these, look at this. All right, let me show you the pampas grass first. I don't know if any of you have bought pampas grass online. It's hard to find good pampas grass. Um, the first time I bought some, I took it out of the box as I was doing that. I mean, it starts falling apart all over my counter, the floor. It's like, I didn't even get it all the way out. I put it back in, I returned it. Well, you know, it took, you know, it's, you know a few hit and misses. <laughs> and then I found this brand. Look, no, it's not real pampas grass, it's fake. It, it almost reminds you of feathers, but I mean, it's not feathers either. It's just some sort of 
some sort of fake stuff, <laughs> but I love it. It comes in a variety of colors. This is probably my favorite. I have it in this color, which is beige, and I also have it in white. And the white is like, if you're looking for a really bright white, it's really pretty, um, and it's not off-white, it's a bright white. So it also in white, but other colors too, I think they even have a black. So be sure to uh, check out the link for, you know, if you want other colors. Again, this one, my favorite is beige. All right, next, this, I love, 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 love this little vase set. They're my, it's my second favorite vase set. I will show you my very favorite vase set in more home decor favorites. <laughs> if you want to, you know, give that one a watch. Again, it'll be linked at the bottom. I'm going to make sure I link, you know, both of them to each other. But look at this. It looks like, can you see the speckled in it? It looks like um, like the old, old-fashioned speckled enamel where you, you, there used to be like great big pots that were made out of that. I don't know why, but I think I might have had, I don't know, maybe one of my grandmas had one, but I remember seeing a great big pot that looked like this. And But this is ceramic, and it, it again, it is slightly distressed. See, it's, you know, it just looks like it has a few boo-boos on it. Um, and then it's got the rope wrap handles. I love it. Again, ceramic, you get two, so it's a great set. Uh, when I do them, and obviously you can put flowers in both, what I tend to do is just put flowers in the taller one because I, I just, I like the way that looks. And I, I think they look great with the pampas grass, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I think that's so pretty. I actually put the white one in here too, and that looks nice, but the beige looks, I don't know, something about the uh, soft tones, it looks good with the tones on the rope, the rope wrap handles. So I really love this combination. Uh, it's just so pretty. And these don't fall apart. <laughs> A huge bonus, believe me. All right, last but not least, again, these are all items today that I'm asked all the time for links for. This next one is a fr frustrating one. Uh, can you pull up the pantry cabinet? I call it the pantry cabinet because it's literally across from my pantry. Okay, now the cabinet and the shelf with hooks are two items for whatever reason they go out of stock all the time. And I'm always having people ask and I go to look and they're out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Well, right now, as I am filming this, they are both in stock. So I was like, I am adding these in. First, let's start with the cabinet. You guys, this is not a junky piece of furniture. This is not one of those particle board things that you know looks good, but it's kind of junky. I do have one of those too. <laughs> it's smaller, it's got little baskets, and you know, it, it's, there's no quality, but it looks cute. So I still like it, but this one is a quality piece. This is literally made from mahogany, you guys, real wood. This is real wood, mahogany. Uh, it's painted, a, this is a nice bright white. All of those baskets come with it. So again, it's a question I'm asked. If I had a dollar for every time I was asked, can I link to those baskets? I can't give you one because they come with that cabinet and I can't find those baskets anywhere I have looked. But anyway, it comes with the baskets, the three drawers work, but just a lovely cabinet. I highly recommend it. It, this and one other cabinet that I have are my two favorite pieces of furniture in my entire home. Um, and I will show you if you want to watch more home decor favorites, uh, that is the other cabinet will be in it. Um, I may have to do a third. Is that too much? Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments because <laughs> I have so much great stuff. But anyway, you guys, again, a great cabinet, mahogany. This is a quality piece of furniture. This is not, you know, some, you know, affordable particle board thing. It's, it's beautiful. All right. And then next, the uh, wall shelf with hooks, which again is often out of stock. I love this. This comes in two sizes. This is the 36 inch size. It also comes in two colors. That's the white, obviously. And it also comes in a brown. But I really, really love this it, because, and I imagined when I put the uh, cabinet in there, immediately I thought, well, I want a, um, a wall shelf with hooks. And it took me a while to find one that, you know, just matched what I wanted for in there. So I love this one. Again, it's available in brown, two different sizes, two different colors. 
that is the 36 inch and we just made it through all of these by the way like like that photo if you know you want to know all of that rest of that stuff that's all on my amazon storefront and you know my youtube channel is fairly new and i'm adding all of this stuff as i go along but it's taking me a while <laughs> I got a lot of home decor stuff to add, but it's fun. I enjoy this. You know, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I just, I so appreciate it. I mean, if you like this kind of stuff, I do coastal farmhouse and neutral. Those are kind of my vibe, you know, subscribe, you know, give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, so that's it for now, guys. As always, it is absolute honor to help you make your house a home and I will see you next time.